Well, it's, an, it's another unboxing. We got something I've been wanting to get a hold of. And this here is a uh, parts washer from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, pretty much it's everything going. 20 gallon parts washer. High flow pump circulates uh, 5.40 gallons per. We, we, you know what? We're not going to go over all that. I'm going to just, uh, you go on the website, it'll give you all the stuff for it. Matter of fact, hold on. I zoom in. Let y'all get a get a load of it. It's from Harbor Freight. Very inexpensive. Very affordable. Complete, complete my workspace. And I also got a got a stand to go with it, a dolly. And of course, you know how I do it. I'll show you the finished product when I get done unboxing and installing it. All right, people, I'm about to show you the un the unveiled product. There it is, it's the parts washer. Like I said, I'm in the middle of my Baja. When I say my Baja is tore all the way down, all you see is the frame. Wheels, parts, screws, nuts, all the aluminum, everything. Can't even get down to the bottom. I got the same thing on the, uh, basically down at the bottom of the car. Everything, all the parts. Motor tore down. I got parts soaking them in the water on the, for the parts washer. Like I said, here it is. It's my uh, Harbor Freight part wa parts washer. Turn my water on. Got the water. Right here, just recirculates the water. Put your solution in if you want to. Like I said, I don't get no better than that because whenever I need to do my diffs, uh, soak something, whatever, all I gotta do is put it in the parts washer, air it out, let it dry. And that's my Harbor Freight parts washer. We get a little distance from the back of the bag. Can't beat that, I've been wanting this, so I said it's that time to go get it. I'm gonna do a shop overview. I added a lot, a lot of everything to it. So, you got the frame you for the both pieces. About to go into the parts washer. Matter of fact, one moment. It was turn it on. Power switch on the side right here. We got action. I'm gonna soak it down a little bit. I'm gonna hit it with some simple green. Just to, just to get it started. Said, horse washer gonna come in handy for diffs. Um, anything you gotta get clean, you could take off the car and wash real quick, which is pretty much everything. It's gonna be a beautiful thing.
I pretty much washed all the other parts except a few other pieces, but this is the main, the main thing I'm worried about right now, which is the frame. So just to give a little brief, brief showing what's going on. Got the lower rear plate. Had it soaked in a little bit of simple green. Of course, I got a little, little nasty gorilla pad going on here. Cause I don't have time to sit there and just let everything soak. Way better being up in the kitchen sink trying to do something. I can do it right back here in the, in the RC workshop. It's pretty much as clean as that's gonna be. Plus, then I got simple green in my in my water also. Not a lot, just a some, just a little something to give it, give it a little cutting edge. This is also it's my second frame. My other frame probably bent the second day I ran the car because uh. I didn't know. I, it, it jumped, popped a wheelie, and did some other stuff. So I didn't know without this reinforced four millimeter, reinforced four millimeter plate, a little, uh, steel plate, the car won't, uh, that front frame won't last long. And the problem is with that plate, that plate is probably, this plate is just as heavy as this, piece, this whole belt, this whole frame. That's why it's so hard to get the front of my car to come off off the ground these things is uh pretty much I had a steel metal plate, I had those front brake pads and a few other uh, lower pieces up front. So basically that's holding it down. Which is not a problem because it keeps the car grounded but now at least it uh the front wheel stay pretty much off the ground the whole time dirt trying to drive it so put that DDM pipe in it makes a hell of a difference. That's done. Spray it down. Well, as good as this is going to get. Now, got both pieces together. You can hit the power on the prep. Forest washer. My air gun. Let it drip for a little second. It's dry. It's also dry. Another complete piece. And that is that's the parts washer, folks. Harbor Freight has an assisted lid on it also. 
close it, open it up, it just pops open. Pump is inside of that pack, that housing. Got your uh, on and off switch. On the side right there. It's also, I also put it on a, I already showed you all, got it on a, on a dolly. That was a pound moving dolly. See if we can unzoom it well. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go uh, empty it. I got, a sump, I got a pump that I'm going to empty it with. I haven't uh, did a modification. I'm going to do a modification at the bottom with a, a shut off, pretty much a shut off valve at the bottom. And basically when I open it up, have a hose connected to it. A few modification parts that I'm pretty not done with it yet, but that's about all for the day though.